Okay, so everybody took the quiz on Friday or is taking it now. Okay, now make sure you're awake. So, we know how to do this because we did this warm-up just like this on Thursday. How do I get an inverse? What do I do with this table? Flip it around, right? So this is quadratic. So negative 1, 9 becomes 9, negative 1, right? 8, 0, 5, 1. Oh, that's an ugly 0. And then a 0, 2. Now, can you plot the first one? Negative 1, 9, 0, 8, 1, 5. Two zero. And then can you plot the other one that's going to reflect across the diagonal line? 9, negative 1, 8, 0, 5, 1, 0, 2. Kind of looks like a curved X. Okay. So, next thing, number 2, can you solve for Y? Or, sorry, can you find the inverse function. Solving for y is part of it, but uh, first step, what do I do with that f of x turns into what letter? What do I write instead of f of x? Okay, so y equals x squared plus 3. Uh, what do I do next with x and y? Switch the order, right? So x equals y squared plus 3. Okay, next step. I need to solve for y, so what do I do next? Do I get rid of the square or the 3? What do you think? Okay, how do I get rid of a plus 3? What's the opposite of plus? Okay, thank you. Minus 3 on both sides. Now remember, x minus 3 is not 2, negative 2, 3x, negative 3x, none of that stuff. They don't combine, they're just next to each other. So x minus 3 equals y squared. And then the last step, how do I get rid of a squared? How do you get rid of the square? Square root. Square root, very good, student. So square root, square root. And my final uh, step is f inverse of x equals square root x minus 3. All right. Cool. Now, fumble. So, 3.3 .3 notes. Now, what do you think the opposite of cubing is? No. So, if the opposite of square was square root, the opposite of cube will be cube root. Yeah. Yay. You never learned it until today. It's like highlighting your hair, says Ms. Murrow. All right, check it out. It says on your page... Okay, on the left-hand side, you have cubic function. Now, we did this in unit two. Y'all remember this, where it kind of goes up on one, it goes down on the other? It looks like a parabola that half of it's going downwards. Okay. All right, so cubic looks like this. 
right here. And then look at what cube root looks like. Now, does everyone see right here that it looks like a square root sign, but there's a little three there. That little three lets you know it's a cube root. Okay. Now, there's another way to write this. And when you type it in your calculator, this is what it's going to look like. X to the one-third power. And the way you type it would be x caret and then one-third. Okay, so that's how you would actually type it in your calculator to get a cube root. Does everyone see how you would actually type in cube root? It's to the power of one over three. Okay? So if you were to graph both of these at the same time, this one and this one, they would be symmetrical across the diagonal line y equals x. So, without further ado, you can flip it over, and we're going to do some examples. Three of them together, and then you can do your assignment. So, this is, do you, do you see the pattern here? Every time we're doing the same thing, you're given a function, you have to find the inverse, do the tables, graph it, okay? We've done linear in 3.1. We've done quadratic in 3.2. And now we're at cubic for 3.3. So, same steps. What's my first step to get... Uh, to solve this. What do I turn f of x into? y. So let's rewrite this. y equals x cubed minus 2. Okay. Second step is always take x and y and do what? Switch the order. Okay. I want more people answering my questions so I can think I don't know what you're talking about here. So x equals y cubed minus 2. And now we got to solve for y, okay? So when we're solving for y, what should I get rid of first, the cubed or the minus 2? Okay, the loner, the minus 2. What's the opposite of minus 2? Plus 2. So we add 2 to both sides. Now, is x plus 2 2x or 3 or maybe 3x? None of that. No. You just put it next to it. So x plus 2 equals y cubed. Okay? Now this part is where we have a new step. It's not that different though. Right? If I want to get rid of the cubed, what am I going to do? If I'm going to get rid of cubed, what's the opposite of cubing? What's the opposite of cubing? Cube root. Very good. So here's how you write this. Ready? Okay. And I want everyone writing this down. You can write this on the back side. All right. On this side. So here's how you do this. It's going to look like a square root, but you're going to put a little three there. Looks like a square root, but you're going to put a little three there. Okay, cube root gets rid of a cube. Cube gets rid of a cube root. Okay, they're opposites. So it cancels out on the right. Now I'm left with cube root of x plus 2 equals y. So you see how it's very similar to square and square root, except we're doing cube and cube root. So last step, I want to write it as an inverse function. f inverse of x equals cube root x plus 2. Okay. So, Let's get a table. We're going to turn you turn the bit. We're going to go to our graph, new document, don't save. We're going to graph the original up here. f of x equals x cubed minus 2. So for x cubed, I'm going to do x caret 3. And then for the minus 2, I go to the right and hit minus 2. Make sure you go to the right because otherwise the minus 2 will be in the exponent and that will be bad. Okay? Now, do y'all remember this phrase, inflection point? 
The inflection point is where it changes directions. So do you see right here is where it changes directions? What is, sorry, right there. Let's hit Control T for table. Okay, that is right at about 0, negative 2. So what I'd like for you to have is two points above and two points below when you graph it. So we're going to put all those points in our table. So let's do that right now. Negative 2, negative 10. Negative 1, negative 3. 0, negative 2. 1, negative 1. And 2, 6. And then I want you to graph those points. It should look cubic. So negative 2, negative 10, down here. 1, negative 1, neg sorry, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 2, comma 6. Now, if you look at your graph, it's supposed to look just like that. So it's going to come up, turn right, turn up. There's your cubic graph that everyone's graphing right now. What do we do for the inverse table? Maybe. What do we do with the table to get the inverse? Switch the order, right? So, go down. Negative 10, negative 2. Negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, 0. You can do it. Negative 1, 1, 6, 2. Okay. So let's, let's do this. Negative 10, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 1, and 6, 2. It should look symmetrical across that diagonal line, okay? So everyone's graphing those points. Do you have your pencil? Number two, let's do this. Same idea. We're going to graph it. First, f of x turns into what letter? Y. Y equals x minus 4 cubed. Then x and y do what? Switch order, right? x and y are switching places. So x equals y, uh, parentheses y minus 4 cubed. Then, we're going to start solving for y. Now, there's a parenthesis there, so what should I get rid of first? The minus 4 or the cubed? Which one goes first? The cubed, because the minus 4 is inside the parentheses. So, let's get rid of cubed. How do I get rid of cubed? Cube root. Okay, so cube root here and a cube root here. So the cube root cancels out, and now I have a cube root of x equals y minus 4. Now what's the opposite of that minus 4? 
plus 4 here, plus 4 here. Does the plus 4 combine with the x? No. no. It just goes after it. Okay. So now I have cube root of x, and then plus 4 is after it, equals y. And then you can write it as an inverse at the bottom. It looks fine. What's up? Is it? It's a three, so. What was your question? Cube root x. Cube root. Now let's get some points on our table. So on my graph, I'm kind of going the back way. I'm going to hit tab, go back up, and start typing where it was before. So what do we have? x minus 4 cubed. Boom. Now, where's the point of inflection? Oh, no. What did I do? Wait, seriously, what did I do? What did I do? How did I, how did I zoom? Just by... Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, boom. Where's that point of inflection? 2 comma 0. So... What I'm going to do is go down here, cool, okay, so 2, oh, it's actually 4, 0, because this is still zoomed out, all right, so 4, 0, yes, all right, so 2, negative 8, 3, negative 1, let's write those down, 3, negative 1, Four zero. That's my inflection point. Five one and six eight. So I'm going to go back and write this down. But this is the point of inflection. Oh my gosh! Board is whack. What? All right, so plot these points. 2, negative 8. 3, negative 1. 4, 0. 5, 1. 6, 8. Sorry if I'm in your way. I'll be all out of the way in a second. I don't know what that means. And then we're going to flip it around and graph that. Negative 8, 2. Negative 1, 3. 0, 4. 1, 5. 8, 6. All right, so negative 8, 2. Negative 1, 3. 0, 4, 5. 1, 5. And then 8, 6. <coughs> They should look symmetrical across across the y equals x diagonal line. Okay? Every time. So make sure that they actually look symmetrical and not goofy. That's fine. That's good enough. All right, last one. F of x turns into what letter? Y, y equals x minus 2 cubed plus 1. And then x and y switch places. Do you want to do it? No, no. I know I need help. Lots of chatter in the back. So let's solve for y. What do we get rid of first? Okay, the loner. How do we get rid of the minus one? Minus one, minus one. These cancel out. So x minus one is. Is it 0? Is it 1x? Is it negative 1x? No! No! 
It's next to it. I ask you specifically because every time you say the wrong thing. Okay, you got to learn this. Just put it next to it. So x minus 1 equals y minus 2 cubed, which is the topic of today's unit. So it's clearly and obviously going to be a 3. Now, next step. What are we going to do to get rid of that 3? Cube root. The only thing we've been doing today. So obviously the only thing we're going to write today. So let's do that. You got the cubed root sign. The only thing we've been talking about today. And then on this side, we have the cubed root sign. The only thing we've been talking about today. So we end up with cubed root x minus 1 equals y minus 2. Now, to get rid of that minus 2, what are we going to do? Plus 2. And then when I combine this, negative 1 plus 2, is that 1? All right. Next to it. Very good. So, I think so. Wait, wait. It needs to go over the minus 1. So here's our final form. Goku. Cube root of x minus 1. And then the plus 2 goes after, like we learned, right? Okay, now, can we get our original table? So let's hit, yes we can. So we're doing x minus 2 cubed. Go to the right, and then we're doing plus 1. Now real quick, just by looking at this, So, just by looking at this equation, is what do you think the point of inflection is? Look right here. Look, look. Remember, C and D, those two values give you the point of inflection. So, right here in the parentheses, what's that right there? It says minus 2, but it's a liar, right? So, 2, comma, 2, comma, 1. So, just so you know, you can tell from the equation what the point of inflection is. Just saying. This board is whack. Okay. So, again, we go to our graph, we type it in. Now, we just said the point of inflection is 2 comma 1. So we need, we're going to do these five points, 0, negative 7, yeah, 0, negative 7, 1, 0, 3, 2, is it 4, 9? Okay, plot those points, 0, negative 7, 1, 0, 2, 1. 3, 2, and then 4, 9. So again, it needs to look cubic. Not like that, of course. This board is whack. All right, let's do this again. Hello. What is going on? Okay, so it should look cubic, and then we flip it around, and then we'll graph it and be done if this board will work. My goodness gracious.
and that's how it should look, symmetrical and all. So uh, if you haven't turned in 3.1 and 3.2, you need to do that, and today you're going to get 3.3.